All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Los Angeles Lakers trade video idea. A tweet came out a couple of days ago from Shams. He said the Mavs, Knicks, Lakers, Hornets have all shown interest in trading for Pacer Central, Miles Turner. Miles Turner is one of the, if not the best, defensive big men in the league. I would say he's definitely one of the best in the entire NBA. And the, the Indiana Pacers, man, they are absolutely suffering this season. They've been suffering for several consecutive seasons. And it looks like they just want to blow it up and focus on just kind of developing their younger talent and acquiring more younger talent. So we have a Lakers trade here today. It is Miles Turner for DeAndre Jordan, Kendrick Nunn, Taylor Horton Tucker, and then three second round picks. So I genuinely think that this is a legitimate trade that the Lakers, I mean, obviously would be interested in and the Indiana Pacers would be interested in. But before we go any further in this video, guys, if you enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're still out here in Florida. So kind of a new editing scheme going on right now. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of days. So Miles Turner this season is averaging 13 points per game, about seven and a half rebounds, and about three blocks per game. He is averaging the most in the entire NBA with three blocks a game. I mean, it is unbelievably impressive. Just last season, he averaged three and a half blocks per game. So I think when we look at this Los Angeles Lakers team, yeah, you know, they have some Russell Westbrook issues, but realistically, I, I think honestly, of all of their problems on the entire Lakers team, I think Russ is probably the easiest to solve, the easiest to figure out, the easiest to manage. I think the biggest issue is the defense right now. I mean, when the Lakers ended up winning their championship a couple of years ago, they had the best defense in the entire NBA. And it, it just, it's so streaky right now. It's so inconsistent. And some of their guys that they thought were going to have impacts on the defensive end are just not doing it. And I'm thinking of you specifically, DeAndre Jordan. Like, that man literally offers me zero things on this Lakers team. Zero things on this Lakers team. The good news for the Lakers is it's not like Miles Turner is... You know, and I don't want this to sound bad at all, but it's not like he's Dwight Howard where he's more of a defensive, you know, only a defensive post, you know, interior paint presence. Like Miles Turner can score the basketball and he can also shoot the basketball. 4.4 threes per game this season for Miles, and he's making them at about a 36% clip. So efficient. Extremely efficient for a big man of his size, of his stature. Also has a field goal percentage of 52%. So, I'm, you know, I'm looking at this trade and I'm thinking, why the hell not from the Lakers side? So let's look at it from the Pacers standpoint. This is going to be tough for them because I would imagine the Pacers, they're not going to get the value back on all of the players they're looking to trade like they're not getting as much value as they would have a couple of years ago maybe even last year miles turner he's on a pretty team friendly contract but at the end of the day the pacers they don't have any need for him at this point like they need to just go full rebuild focus on developing and acquiring young talent and so i know pacers fans they might see no first round pick attached to this well Here's the bottom line. Kendrick Nunn, 40% three-point shooter, 15-point-per-game scorer. I think Kendrick Nunn is one of the most underrated guards in the entire NBA at this current moment just because, first off, he's been injured all season. But Frank Vogel's very high on him. The Lakers are very high on him. There's a reason that he was picked up for the Lakers. 15 points per game, man, I don't think anyone's really going to complain with that. You pair that with Taylor Horton Tucker, who, and you know, I know Taylor hasn't had the best season, but I think a very, very, very similar situation to Kyle Kuzma would occur if Taylor was ended up traded. He's been in the league for a couple of years now. He's got great defense. Doesn't really have a three-point shot. Definitely doesn't have a consistent three-point shot. He's not afraid of shooting the basketball. He's not afraid of shooting the long ball. He's extremely long, and I think he's just a very intriguing prospect. And to be honest with you guys, I think he just gets so kind of like not flamed or ridiculed, but almost flamed and almost ridiculed because he's just on the Lakers. He's just on the team with LeBron James, and LeBron James is one of the most 
if not the most hated NBA player, you know, it's like a love-hate relationship for a lot of fans. Obviously, when LeBron is retired, all of LeBron's haters will be like, yeah, they'll be telling their kids, yeah, I watched LeBron James play, yeah, it was awesome, you know, I saw it all. (laughs) Man, they suck. But anyways, I just think THT is getting a little bit of the LeBron treatment right now where it's like, they're asking these young players to do so much that I think a guy like Talon just needs to go to a new team where he can kind of find his identity. Because on the Lakers, they kind of need him to be a specific somebody. They kind of need him to be a three-point shooter. They need him to be like a three and D type of wing who can guard several different positions. Well, if he goes to a team like Indiana and if they clear house and they're trying to tank, you can just give the damn ball to THT. You can just give him 35 minutes a night You can really see what Talon's potential looks like because I think it's I I think it's very very bright. That's it for today, guys. Let me know if you would accept this trade or not. We are also still trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, so a like, a comment for the algorithm would be greatly appreciated. If we could try to get this video to 50 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. But have a great day. Have a good rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you guys later.